Yo, it's your boy JT. January 17th. I'm going to stop getting in you packed tar's ass, no homo. And we're going to talk about some boxing. You know, we're going to talk about the sport that we all love before you fucking parasites came and ruined it. So, we're going to talk about this fight January 17th. Bronze Bomber, Deontay Wilder. Beware, Burmain Stavern. This fight is finalized finally after months of speculation, <clears throat> purse bids, bickering back and forth, all types of crazy ass shit. It's finally finalized. <coughs> Burmain Stavern is a WBC heavyweight champion of the world. Deontay Wilder, he's just coming off a knockout of a fucking bum. Jason Gavin. Before that, he fought Malik Scott, and he hit him with a 1-2, and he knocked him out in the first round. So how this fight I see, how do I see this fight going? First of all, I think it's about a 50-50 fight. 50-50, Um, Deontay Wilder, the power is real. The guy can punch. The guy is a big puncher. He, he has range. Uh, Stubborn. He's a slick boxer, man. Counter puncher. He set traps in the ring. He is the overall more. He is the more solid boxer in his matchup, man. He is the more seasoned boxer. To me, I saw Wilder in that fight against Jason Gavin, and it was a very terrible display of boxing skills. I watched it live, and it was uh, it was terrible, man. Um, Jason Gavin. Um, was a retired police officer. He got in the ring. He was landing all types of wild, flailing punches on Deontay Wilder. And, um, you know, just seeing it live, it was a big difference from seeing Wilder on TV. Live, it looked like this guy, he looked like he just started, he just learned how to box, man. I mean... He barely knew how to throw a punch right. Um, his stance was nasty. Just the way he throw punches, his technique was sloppy. And just, it looked like a guy who just learned how to box. So, I don't know in that fight whether he was just working on something or that's the guy's style. Because what I saw, it was terrible. Um, contrary to that, I saw uh, Stavern's last fight with Chris Ariola, and I saw Stavern boxing a good fight. I saw Stavern setting traps in the ring, using counter punching. See, a lot of people they think uh, Bermain Stavern's they think his style is to sit there and lay on the ropes and just take punches. Just to land one punch like Stavern did against Ariola. Okay? But see, the thing is, Stavern said before the fight that that's what he was going to do. He knew that he can get Ariola out with the one punch. He knew that Ariola gets very excited once he sees that he's landing punches. He starts letting his hands go. And um, he knew that he can hurt Ariola just like he did in the first fight with that big right hand, and that's what he did. He hit him with a right hand, and that was the end of the fight. Um, Shouts out to Chris Ariola, though, man. I kicked it with that dude. That's a real-ass motherfucker right there, man. That's a real-ass dude right there. But anyway, man. Stavern is a very solid boxer, man. If you go back and you watch his fights prior to the Areola fights, you will see that Stavern is a very well-rounded fighter. 
He uses defense. He uses head movement. He's athletic. He has fast hands. Um, he moves his head. He knows how to get on the inside. He knows how to counter punch. So this is this is a real fight, man. This is a real fight. Um, how I see this fight going, Wilder. To me, Wilder is just a little bit too sloppy, and I just I don't see him really using his height. I mean, to his credit, I mean, hey man, no fight of Wilder's went past four rounds. So, I mean, what do we really have to go on, man? Uh, I mean, shit, we don't really have much, man. We got a bunch of four round fights. You know, usually it takes a guy to even get warmed up to get really, so he can really see something. You know, it's going to take more than four rounds generally against a certain style. So, um, I got Bermay Stavern winning this fight by a knockout, man. I mean, I'm going to get straight to it. Six rounds. Uh, I think it'll be the, it'll be a, uh, it'll be a case of Wilder's never been in with that caliber of an opponent. And if he can't get you out with the one shot or within the four rounds, like he's been getting everybody else out, then what's plan B? You know, does he have enough in the tank to go deep into a fight? You know? Does he, you know, does he have what it takes to be the solid, solidified boxer at heavyweight? A guy with head movement, a guy who can get on the inside, which Stavern has shown in previous fights prior to the Areola fight. So, um, this, this is, uh, it's a tough fight, man. I mean, I believe Wilder has a puncher's chance, and I believe that's about it. I think he's wild. I think he doesn't use his height very well. He doesn't have a great jab. He seems, I mean, he's been shaken up before. And the, uh, what's that guy? Francis, or whatever his name. The big tall guy. Um. Yeah, man, I think this is a real fight, dude. And I think. You know, this will be a type of Gary Russell type, um, Gary Russell, Lomachenko type fight, man. You got a guy who has a padded record. He hasn't really fought anybody, and now he's finally stepping up. And, um, you know, I believe that step is going to be a little bit too much for him. So I got Stavern winning this fight by seventh round KO. I mean, Wilder's been shaking up before. I've seen him shaking up in sparring by David Hay. He got knocked out in the amateurs. I mean, so that means in the back of his head, he knows that he could get, he knows that he could get halted in this fight at any time. So, uh, yeah, that's how I see it going, man. It's the burn, seventh round, TKO or Kale. Uh, it's your boy JT. I'm out.